The first dance locally here in Hawaii, now it naturally turns into a money dance. Well, today with modern couples, they're rethinking this tradition. They're not doing away with it, but they're rethinking how they do it. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Jace of Eclipse Effect Events. And before we get into the video, don't forget, check us out on YouTube at Eclipse Effect Events. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. The Hawaii money dance is pretty much a spectacle, and it involves a couple slow dancing while guests place money on various places on the bride or groom. Now, if the money is placed on the bride, the groom has to take the money off the bride with his mouth and drop it into the basket. And the money can be placed anywhere, pretty much anywhere on the bride and groom, like the collar, the belt buckle, or even the shoe, and the guests place the money on them. This allows the guests to greet the newlyweds as well as share in a few laughs with them. The local style money dance usually interrupts the first dance. I mean, when I say interrupt, I, I don't mean in a bad way. Maybe it's better to say it transitions in the middle of the first dance into the money dance locally. And here's a few reasons why that modern day couples have been opting to separate the first dance and the money dance into two separate dances. First off, you'll never get this moment again. The first dance has a symbolic and significant meaning. You know, it, it means two coming together as one. And it's encouraged to take that time to dance the three, four, even five minutes of that song. Because by dancing to the whole song uninterrupted, you really get to be present. You get to focus and really enjoy that moment with that special person you married. Second reason is you spent big money on a photographer and videographer. If it's your first dance and it gets interrupted by the money dance, you lose that valuable time the photographer and videographer has to capture those amazing photos and videos of your first dance. You probably spent thousands of dollars on their services, so why not give them the time they really need to get creative and capture those special moments that happens during the first dance. And if you decide to separate the first dance and the money dance, make sure, you know, whoever's emceeing just makes a mention during the first dance that this is not a money dance. The money dance will happen after the first dance, so let the couple enjoy their moment together. You know, after the first dance, why not dance again? Now that you enjoy the first dance fully, you got to really embrace the moment. Go ahead and, and take part in the money dance, greet guests, share a few laughs, and this, of course, is just a suggestion. In the end, the decision is up to you. And remember, in this case, there's no right or wrong decision if you decide to split the money dance in the first dance or decide to traditionally keep it together as one. 